Hello, Andy Eater fans. Michael O'Sullivan here with Jeff Perkins, head coach of the men's and women's track and field teams. And coach, once we get to 2017, you guys will have uh, you know a couple months to get ready for the actual season that will begin in March. But always an exciting time to get things going with that all you see meet down south a little bit. And then you got that uh, big Brown invitation on forwards, and I know that has some significance this year. Yeah, we haven't attended Ben Brown in a little bit. It's been a, a, at least four or five years now. Um, so for us, it's a good chance for our athletes to get on their facility because it's where the conference championship will be hosted, and it's a huge invitational. So we're looking forward to that as an early season test. Yes, yeah, so the Big Wedge Championships will be at Fullerton, and then UCI Spring Collegiate Classic, that's here at Anteater Stadium, so nice to kick off the year here at home. Yeah, it'll be nice to kind of stretch our legs a little bit, and that'll be our third meet of the season to kind of see uh, where we uh, size up with some teams that are coming from out of state. Uh, so we're excited to have Northern Arizona and Army come to the meet, um, along with some local uh, universities as well. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah, and speaking of local, you go to Riverside right after that, so you stay pretty close. And then this Mondo Invitational up in Sacramento, I know that's new to the slate. Yeah, the Mono Invitational uh, was set up uh, by me for us to get on that facility. Uh, USA is being hosted there, but it's also a great facility to perform well at. Um, so it's gonna ha it's gonna be about a five to seven team meet, Division One teams only. Uh, so we're gonna see how kinda how we score out with those teams. Um, so it's kind of again kind of a mid season, early season test to see where we are at that point. But for us, like I really wanted to get some of our elite athletes on that facility to kind of see how they feel about it. Right. Then you're going to bounce around California a lot throughout the rest of the season. Uh, then hopefully you get to Austin, Texas, which is the NCAAs. Those will be the preliminary rounds. But uh, looking at the Big West, since you've taken over, I mean, this program, how has that transitioned and, and what have you seen out of the conference? Um, it's, it's definitely gotten deeper, I'll mm -hmm. say that, in a lot of events. Um, the throws, distance, jumps and sprints, hurdles, all gotten a lot deeper. So it's been a, it's a lot of fun trying to keep our kids you know, on their toes and to perform at our best. Um, but we have a lot of athletes that have been able to accomplish that over the last couple of years. Talking about your teams, when you look at the women's side, I know Megan George is, is obviously been, she's you know, a cornerstone to this program for the last several years. You got Persis, William Mensa though, who was just in Rio. I mean, what an accomplishment for her. Who else are you looking for uh, uh, big years out of? Barbara Coward, uh, she was our school record holder last year as a freshman and made the NCAA first round preliminaries in the discus. Um, and then, you know, Michelle Norman will be big for us this year. Uh, she's part of our four by one school record setting team. Um, unfortunately, uh, Tyson Crutchfield's out with injury this year, so that kind of hurts us a little bit. Um, but, uh, you know, across the board, we've brought in a new regime of kids, but uh, it'll be an exciting group. Talk about the men, Lloyd Sicard, he's accomplished a lot, especially the last couple of seasons, so I know him going into his senior year, he's got a high bar for himself, but uh, who else are you looking out for? Uh, Lloyd definitely has a high bar, <laughs> like you couldn't have said it any better. He's right. really challenged himself, um, so we're looking for him to kind of lead that pack. Brandon Howard coming back for us as an NCAA level uh, regional qualifier last year in the 400 meter hurdles. Uh, Matt Seawright uh, in the, uh, the discus and hammer. Uh, we're looking hopefully for him to break the school record in both, but the kids come so far in a year. Um, and then just uh, our core group of guys, we have a bunch of young ones mm -hmm. um, that are kind of setting themselves up for, for success. Uh, we have. A uh, young man, um, uh, Hector Garcia, uh, who'll be one of our best 510K guys. A uh, freshman coming in, did well in cross country. Uh, so we're looking kind of forward to see what he can do too. Jeff Perkins, head coach of the men's and women's track and field teams, and that'll get going in March. Coach, thanks a lot. I know a lot of expectations for this year, so it should be fun. Thanks for taking a little time with us. Thank you. I appreciate that. See you next time, Anator fans.